Aaron Burnett out front. Weeknights at 7, only on CNN. How were you able to, to find people? How does salsa work? Uh, salsa is a, a live, a live find dog. She goes by air sending. She's not like a tracking dog and she's completely autonomous. Uh, I send her on a search and she uh, gets in the scent cone and uh, does everything on her own. The handler's main responsibility is to uh, make sure that they cover the uh, devastation area thoroughly. So we'll send them back into areas that we don't think they covered completely. So, so how does she know um, when, when, she's, when she finds someone and how does she communicate that to you? Uh, it's called a, a focused bark alert. Uh, she's trained uh, when she gets a scent of a, a live human. Uh, she'll uh, put her nose down in the, uh, the scent cone and just bark until uh, we relieve her. And when you're in the middle of this, you, you haven't slept, you get word that your niece, right, was, was among the missing at Briarwood. What happened to her? Correct. Uh, she was uh, actually, thankfully, uh, she was picked up by her grandparents. Uh, her father, when we uh, were first dispatched, we had to park uh, several blocks away because of the debris and walk the, uh, our crews up. And uh, one of the citizens grabbed me on the arm and said, can you help me? And I turned around and it was actually uh, my brother-in-law. And uh, oh. once we got over the shock of him and, and me, uh, he said, Landry's missing and uh, he needed to find her. It, excuse me. And so it became a, uh, not just a normal search, but a, a more personal, uh, going through uh, Briarwood Elementary searching for her. But thankfully, uh, she was uh, picked up earlier. So, well, that is a blessing. It turned out well. A blessing, Dan. And, and when, when, you know, Salsa, I know, has, has worked in five other tornadoes. When she finds someone alive and she barks, you hear her bark, does she, does she feel a sense of pride? Does she, does she know and understand uh, the amazing things she's just done, do you think? Uh, no, they, uh, they actually, uh, during our trainings and uh, when we bury people in robopiles during our trainings, are, is no different to them than uh, when we deploy. The, the handlers are the ones that are stressed out. To them, they're playing another game of hide and seek. And so the victim that we're searching for to them is uh, somebody that's hiding with their toy. Wow. So they're, they're, they're the least stressed person out, out on the search.